Hello and welcome to our DBT Core Guide. My name is Steven Johnson and I'm the Data Community Advocate here at Shipyard. I'm so excited that you're joining us to learn more about how to deploy DBT Core into the cloud. This series will include three parts to help you start from scratch in DBT Core and get you to a point where you can begin to transform your data. At the end of part one, you will have the sample data provided uploaded to your cloud data warehouse to be ready to move into part two. The steps in this tutorial will specifically utilize Databricks. If you use BigQuery, Redshift, or Snowflake, don't worry because we also have guides made specifically for those data warehouses as well. The links for those are in the description below. Also in the description below is a link to our sample data that we'll use throughout this guide. Please go ahead and download it and then move over into the Databricks console. Now that you're inside of Databricks, navigate to the left sidebar and select Data. This will open up the Data sidebar to look at what's currently stored inside of Databricks. Select the default database and click Create Table. This will take you to the Create New Table page. Under Files, click the box to browse your files and select SPI underscore matches underscore latest dot CSV from the sample data that you downloaded earlier. Click to create the table with the UI. You'll need to select the cluster to preview the table. Once you select your cluster, click the Preview Table button. This will give you the ability to specify options for the table. Under Table Name, enter STG underscore football underscore matches. Under Create in Database, feel free to pick any database that you like. I'm going to stick with default just for simplicity's sake of the, of the guide. Under File Type, make sure that CSV is selected. Under Column Delimiter, make sure that a comma is in the box. Check the box for the first row being a header, and then check the other box for Infer the Schema. Click Create Table. This will redirect you to a page that shows the table that you just created along with its schema. Now that we've completed uploading the first CSV from our sample data into Databricks, we need to go back and repeat the same steps for our second CSV from our sample data. We'll repeat the exact same steps with the exception of clicking on the SPI underscore global underscore rankings dot CSV file to upload and then naming that table STG underscore football underscore rankings. Thank you for joining me for part one of our DBT core series. You're now ready to move on to part two where we'll focus on setting up DBT core in the cloud. If you have any questions about part one or as you move into part two or even part three, feel free to use the intercom button on the bottom right hand corner of the Shipyard webpage. See you in part two.